Hello, all of you. This is the lesson on auto regressive distributed lag uh, pre and post estimation test through using EVS12. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel, uh, I invite you to subscribe uh, now to get uh, updates uh, on uh, this uh, lesson and the related uh, topics. Before proceeding to the uh, pre and post estimation tests of the autoregressive distributed lag, uh, let us see uh, the uh, reason of employing RDL model in uh, time series uh, data. The uh, central reason for employing RDL model for time series data is the uh, sample size. When uh, your sample size uh, is less than 30 in time series data, uh, you are supposed to employ the uh, RDL uh, model. The other one is order of integration. When the order of integration is mixed, uh, again the RDL uh, provides more accurate and unbiased estimates than the uh, vector error correction uh, model. Finally, uh, the auto distributed lag model estimates both the short run and long run coefficient simultaneously through using uh, RDL uh, bound and long term uh, or long run uh, tests. So let us proceed to the pre and post estimation test. Under RDL model, uh, there are uh, a pre and post estimation tests. Uh, so let us see the pre estimation tests for this model. Uh, the first one is uh, correlation. Correlation. A correlation uh, matrix dem demonstrates the degree of relationship that exists between independent and dependent variable. There are steps uh, in E view to, help, uh, to conduct this uh, correlation. You are uh, going to click on quick, then uh, uh, there are uh, a group statics, statistics, then uh, correlation, correlation. Uh, so uh, you will get the result of the uh, correlation matrix results uh, when uh, you follow these uh, tips. The other issue is uh, unit root or extensionality test. Uh, as you know that in uh, time series analysis, extensionality is a critical to avoid erroneous regression result. Therefore, you should, uh, you should uh, employ the extensionality tests before uh, uh, a regression analysis. Here is the uh, step to be uh, used to uh, test for extensionality and time uh, series through using RDL model or any other model. Uh, the first is click on quick, then uh, series statistics, then uh, unit root test, uh, then uh, you are required to type your variable or series name specific series name then uh, you are going to select uh, uh, the test type then uh, when we select the, ta the test type there are various tests the first one is ADF and Philippines pattern and Dick Fuller GLS uh, test is there so uh, Based on your uh, interests, uh, you will choose among them, one of them, one of them. Uh, so, uh, following this step, uh, uh, leads to uh, testing of the unit test and the uh, EVUs. The other is uh, interpretation of this unit root or extensionality test. Look at here, look at here. Uh, I used augmented Dick 
fuller test uh, decay fuller test which is adf interpretation is look at over here when absolute value of t statistics for a specific test is greater than absolute value of t critical value at one or five or ten percent the data is extensionary the data is uh, extensionary the data is extensionary so look at the uh, result augmented decay fuller test the uh, t statistics is 5.13 absolute value again the t critical value at one percent is 3.75 therefore the t statistics is greater than the t critical value which confirms the extensionality of the data as the first difference if it's one d here this is the first difference first difference then uh, stewards stewards information criteria is employed there is now a lag length and maximum lag is uh, five five the other is multi uh, collinearity tests uh, to arrive at an appropriate conclusion a multi collinearity test is conducted to discover explanatory variables with high correlation value the best test is variance inflation factors this variance inflation factor is maybe uh, i classified uh, them uh, into two uncentered and centered variables centered variables means that variable have low intercorrelation while uncentered variables have higher intercorrelation resulting in more collinearity this is confirmed by the authors in 2009 a step is to test multi collinearity in view 12 object then new object then equation then type of variable which is dependent variable followed by independent variable then select a method uh, the method is rdl then go to click on view then coefficient diagnostic test then variance inflation factors after that the result is uh, displayed look at this result the centered the centered variance inflation factor has low correlation value look at this one look at this centered by vif then uncentered variance inflation factors has how correlation value how correlation value therefore the scholars advised you to employ the centered variance inflation factors in order to uh, avoid the uh, uh, risks of the uh, culinarity risks of the uh, culinarity the other issue is heteros hedasticity tests here uh, we are going to uh, i am going to uh, show you the brusich pagan godfrey and arc uh, tests here is the steps you can click on view after regression then uh, uh, residual diagnostics then heteros kedasticity test then select procedure pagan um, godfrey or uh, arc uh, then okay so here uh, procedure pagan uh, godfrey is here in both uh, test when uh, the value is uh, or the probability value of f statics or observed risk card is uh, insignificant the model is free from heteroskedasticity heteroskedasticity uh, uh, which mean uh, the uh, data is hemoskedasticity uh, the other test is normality test uh, the interpretation is uh, depicted here 
the histogram should be bell shaped if the residuals are normally distributed and then uh, jarkubera statistics should not be significant here is the steps to test the normality in view 12 uh, view the residual diagnostic then histogram normality test so uh, this is a uh, result the probability is uh, uh, i mean the probability should be uh, uh, insignificant which means greater than your uh, significant value maybe it is 10% 1% or 5% if the value is greater than that uh, value uh, the uh, data is uh, uh, normal the other issue is stability test uh, 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 the stability test is performed to ensure that the model under, under consideration is stable for instance approaches to uh, uh, I mean approaches proposed by uh, Brown such as cumulative sum of recursive uh, residuals and cumulative sum of e square recursive residuals is uh, used interpretation uh, when a blue line uh, which means a blue line should be rested between two yellow line the step is to test the stability uh, in ev12 is view stability diagnostic then uh, recursive estimates then kusum test or kusum of square test so uh, uh, as an interpretation a blue line should be raised between two yellow uh, line uh, which is shown uh, over this uh, slide here uh, this blue line should be raised between the two uh, uh, yellow line unless otherwise uh, the uh, model is not uh, stable or the data is not stable the other issue is model misspecification to test for model misspecification or omitted variables the ramsey regression specification error test established by uh, ramsey uh, is uh, used uh, so uh, here is the steps to test for uh, model uh, misspecification any views 12 view stability diagnostic then uh, ramsey reset test number of fitted term or one uh, you make it one or two then uh, the probability of the t statistics and f statistics and likelihood ratio should be greater than uh, uh, your uh, significant uh, level which is five percent ten or one uh, percent so our probability is greater than uh, ten uh, percent and five or five and five percent or one percent therefore uh, uh, there is no uh, misspecification test in the model the other issue is autocorrelation test uh, uh, again uh, here is the steps to test autocorrelation in a view or is view residual diagnostic serial correlation lm test again uh, when the uh, result of uh, of statistics and uh, observed r risk result is insignificant the model is free from uh, autocorrelation finally uh, the post estimation test is co-integration test which is bound test if the calculated if statistics is greater than the critical value for upper bound then we can conclude that there is co-integration creation that there is longer relationship between dependent and independent variable here is the step steps to uh, test co-integration view coefficient diagnostics then long run and bound test is there uh, then uh, uh, you can get these uh, results when uh, the upper when the f statistics is this one this is f statistics if this is greater than uh, this uh, value for upper bound test there is the existence of the co-integration it's all about the model, uh, the RDL model post and pre-estimation test. If you have any question, you can comment on uh, our, our, my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching and uh, like and subscribe uh, to get a further uh, update. Thank you very much.